Hi guys, here's my take on the first flush uh, water filtration system. I'm sure like me you've been scouring the internet for all different ideas. Well this is my take on it. Uh, just running these through quickly with it. Um, there's the, um, the pipe, the um, what do you call it, gutter from the, from the roof there. Water goes into that uh, thing there, the hopper I think they call it. I've got um, a stainless steel mesh on there, it's 90 micron I think it is. And I've just um, soldered welded it onto the on, onto the hopper there. That's, that's really solid there. That's not going anywhere. So into the hopper, then it goes into that bit of pipe there. And I've got a, a diverter. It came from screw fix. Comes round this one here, and then into this uh, solvent weld 40 millimeter T piece there, and into another um, solvent weld. I haven't solvent welded them. I just sh shut them in there really tight fit, so I don't know if any leaks. I'll, I'll solvent weld them if need to. Into a bit of um, hose lock thing there. I'm going to use proper pipe eventually but I've just got to make make do with hose pipe now just to save save expenses. Uh, going from this T-piece here I've got a little bit of a uh, short piece of solvent weld 40 millimeter there going which again I haven't solvent weld is a really tight fit that so I won't glue that unless it leaks. I'd, I'd like to be able to get in there to inspect it. Okay so that fits quite a tight fit in there so that's okay. I've got a 40 to 68 um, reducer here this little top one and then this goes into this one reducer which is a 68 uh, 110 to 68 inside there which you can't see I've got a, a ball cock now um, I'm, sure, I'm sure you know the principle of how these things work but basically uh, when you when it first starts raining all the mucky water off the roof with all the bits and debris and bird poo and all the rest of it comes down that pipe there the, the big bits will get filtered straight off the edge there the, the mucky water goes in straight down that down the pipe into the, uh, the soil pipe there fills up the floats makes its way to the top as the, as the pipe fills up. Now when the, when the float is up to here, it blocks this part off then. So all the mucky water stays in here and the clean water, all the, uh, after all the rubbish has been flushed off the roof, clean water comes out here and that goes, that goes to the pond. Down the bottom here, uh, I've got a little bleed hole. So when it stops raining, uh, the water will gradually uh, let out of that hole there so it'll be ready for the next time. I've also got a, a, a black bung on here. So I'm sure eventually, despite the uh, mesh I've got at the top, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll um, silt up in there eventually, so I'll, I can just pull that off. I've got a couple of, um, um, what do you call it, um, screws, they, they are designed to screw into brick, I, can't, I don't know what they're called, but I've got a couple of those in because there's going to be quite a, a few, well, there's going to be a few gallons in there when it's full, so that's just stopping it from slipping down. So uh, there you are, that's, that, that's, that's basically it. Um, I hope that helps. Uh, subscribe if you like. I've got a couple more videos to show you. I've made um, a, sh a shower filter, a screen filter I mean, uh, out of a couple of uh, Euro boxes which is working extremely well. Uh, I've also made a backy shower, uh, very very cheaply indeed, and I've made um, also a, a skimmer for, for my pond. So if you subscribe you'll see when I, when I get, get time to put those up. Hope that helps. Bye for now.